Hey what's up everybody it's Infinite here and in this tutorial we are going to learn to create some volumetric light right in After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. So let's see what we are going to create today. Pretty cool right? Okay so before starting see that you download the footage that we are going to use today. The link is in the description so download that first. And I'm also giving you a particle footage which I had created with a third party plugin called Particular but no need to worry about that. You can just download the footage and once the tutorial is complete you can just drag and drop it on your timeline and that will basically add in more depth to your video. So yeah let's get started. And once you have downloaded that let's jump right in After Effects so click and import your footage in After Effects and drop it onto the project window and let's create a new composition out of it so click and drag on this little icon to create a new composition with the same setting with the footage now you'll see that the footage is around 16 seconds long and if you go to the composition composition settings you'll see that it's 4k what we'll do is we'll work with a full hd comp because it will be much easier and faster to work with so set it to 1920 by 1080 rename a composition to something as main and set the duration to around three seconds yeah that is much better so yeah now you'll see the composition is set to three seconds you'll see that the footage has become is basically scaled up don't no need to worry about that just right click go to transform and fit to comp and what we'll do we'll pre-compose our layer so press ctrl shift c or just right click and pre-compose and let's rename it to again main underscore footage and, and see that we have selected move all attributes to a new composition and select ok ok so the first thing we'll do is we'll create a new adjustment layer so right click new adjustment layer and we'll add in the effect go to effects and presets if you cannot see the effects and presets window go to window and sorry about that go to window <laughs> sorry go to window and effects and presets nice and search in for the effect tint and click and drop it onto the adjustment layer let's rename my adjustment layer to volume metric light okay and let's add in one more effect curves so click and drop it onto the adjustment layer and what we'll do is we'll create a perfect black and white image like a uh, luma mat so you see this point down here onto the curves effect just click and drag it until the blacks are completely black and the white is completely white so somewhat like this so we have basically created a luma mat out of our image so the next effect we'll add is search for the cc radial fast blur and click and drop onto the adjustment layer now if you increase the amount you'll see that we have something like the final render but now how do we get our image back just change the blending mode of the adjustment layer to screen if you cannot see the mode right here just click f4 on a keyboard or just toggle the switches and change the blending mode to screen now you'll see that we have created the volumetric effect but we need this light to fall we need to change the direction of the light how do we do that it's, you'll see the center in the effect just click on this dot and let's get it here now you can adjust the position according to your liking i am going to keep it here and decrease the amount to somewhere around here now if you play back we will have something like this now what we'll do is we'll add one more curves effect to a volumetric layer so search for curves and click and drop it and let's just make a s curve to introduce some contrast to a scene mm, i think i'll decrease the contrast and just get the 
something like this so before after just decrease the intensity and increase the amount a little bit and let's color grade our light uh, to the scene so go to the blue channel you'll see that the scene has most mostly it has blue so we'll just increase the blue channel and we'll also increase some green and we'll go to the red channel and we'll decrease the red so here is before after before after and you can also add in some particles if you like to add more depth to the scene and we'll also add some noise so search for the effect no we won't no no search for the effect noise and add in like four yeah four looks much better and we'll add in the cinematic bars if you don't know how to make cinematic bars in after effects here is the way right click new solid and let's rename it to the letter box see and see that you have selected make comp size click on ok now search for the effects cc jaws Sorry, jaws and click and drop it onto the solid and we'll change the completion to 75 now you'll say something a weird border like this now to get that to a rectangle just decrease the height and also the width now you'll see that we have uh, cinematic bars and if you need to adjust the position what we'll do is we'll pre-comp the two layers that we have made right click pre-comp and call it again the main and now I call it main and now you can always adjust the position if you like I'm going to just get it a little up around here so we have this so let me show you the before and after here is the before we play back we have this and here is the after cool right so before after before after if you need to full screen any screen just press the tilt key on a keyboard it will be right besides the number one key before after before after so yeah that's it that's the basic idea now note that this will only work with the lockdown shots which are basically static shots if you can also do it to the moving shots but it's a little different there's a little different method to that if you need that tutorial just let me know but for this tutorial i think this much is pretty cool so hope you guys learned something new from it and if you like then consider subscribing so, see you next time. Bye-bye.